at the kitchen. Jody is cooking. She is cooking up a storm. And me like how she a guam. Taste it. You have to taste it. And when you taste it, you can't erase it. Hey! Jody cooking, delicious cooking. Straight from the kitchen. Subscribe for more of these delicious recipes. Hit the thumbs up and share across all your social media platforms for more of these amazing delicious. Hi guys, it's Jody. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another amazing recipe for you all. Mega make some Jamaican festival. Yes, many people on my YouTube channel been asking for this recipe. I make festival a lot of time. But sometimes I don't really have the time to record it, so that's the reason why I haven't recorded it as yet. But I say, you know what? Today, today, I'm going to record it for my subscribers. So guys, these are all of my ingredients that I'll be using. I'm going to start off with my flour. So the flour that I'm going to use is self-raising flour, okay? And this is 4 cup. You can also use all-purpose flour, but if you're going to use all-purpose flour, you have to add some baking powder to it, okay? Add at least one and a half tablespoon of baking powder if you're gonna use all-purpose flour because I'm using self-raising flour and it come with baking powder yeah so guys this is my cornmeal you need some fine cornmeal and this is three and a half cup of cornmeal okay salt one teaspoon of my salt some vanilla just over one tablespoon of vanilla also gonna add some sugar I'm using granulated sugar and I'm also using brown sugar this is at least four tablespoon of my granulated sugar and quarter cup of my brown sugar okay you don't have to mix it I just choose to mix it okay you can just use one you know just use granulated sugar only or brown sugar only yeah some butter quarter cup of my butter so guys whenever I say cup this is the cup that I use to measure my ingredients normally if I'm cooking I don't use cup because I can just eyeball everything but sure I'm on YouTube I have to teach people because so many people don't really know how to cook so guys this is one cup as I said and I'm using four cup of these okay yes guys just before I start my video I just want to say a Bible verse for you all and I pray that you all been blessed so it come from Psalms 121 verse 1 and 2 so it said I lift up my eyes to the mountain where does my help come from my help comes from the Lord the maker of heaven and earth amen I hope that you guys been blessed by it I just want to say that you know whatever that you're going through just continue to trust God as he said that he will never leave you or forsake you I love you but remember that Jesus Christ love you even more so stay tuned be blessed so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna sift my flour so here I have my strainer you don't want you know no lumps I'm gonna even sift the caramel. And guys, I'm gonna also add just a pinch of nine nutmeg, you know, just for a little bit more flavor. Yeah. And now also, I'm gonna add my sugar, my brown sugar. I'm gonna mix it all in. Make sure that everything is all combined. So now I'm going to add my butter for additional crispiness. Make sure that your butter is at room temperature. Then I'm just going to take my hand 
and just massage it all in like so. So guys, I'm gonna use cold water, okay? So to my water, I'm gonna add the vanilla. Just like so. You know, mix it all in. And this is just over one cup of water, okay? I'm gonna just make a hole here. And just pour it in. Don't pour everything in all at once. Take your time. Okay, just gonna take your time and just mix it all in. And if it need more water, guys, you just, you know, continue to add water. We don't want it to be too sticky either. Because you want everything to all combine, okay? But make sure that you add the water little by little. You don't want to add it all at once, you know. And guys, if it's too sticky, what you can do, you can just add, you know, just a small amount of flour or caramel my dough is nice and soft So now guys, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna sprinkle some flour on my board right there. You know, so my hand doesn't really sticky. And I'm just gonna take up some of the dough. Like so. Yeah, you just wanna around this amount, okay? Just gonna roll it as if you are, you know, you are the dumpling, fried dumpling. Then it's gonna come like this. Around this size, guys, okay? This is a lot of dough guys. I'm making a lot of festival. Cause my children, I mean most of them are gonna really enjoy it. So you know I make a lot so you can you know you can serve me. If you want you can make it more thicker, more smaller, depends.
so guys it is all finished so now I'm just gonna eat up my aisle okay so stay tuned so guys here I have my pot on my stove and my stove is on a medium heat try not to turn up your stove too high okay so my aisle been eaten up for at least five minutes okay so I'm just gonna see how hot it is as you can see it is not too too hot otherwise you just see it you know frying up frying very hard so this is perfect so now I'm just gonna add my festival okay I'm just gonna allow it to fry guys for at least four minutes and each side okay I'm gonna add at least 10. Cause I'm using it. And guys, make sure that you the pot that you're frying the festival or any dumpling in, make sure it is a thick pot, okay? Cause normally when you use a thinner pot, they fry more easily and outside of it, you know, look really, really brown, but inside of it uncooked. So make sure that your pan is quite thick, yes. And as you can see, my aisle is halfway. So guys, as you can see, my festival has floated up to the top. And now I'm just gonna gently, you know, just turn them a bit, okay? So guys, they are becoming nice and golden. So what I'm gonna do guys, I'm gonna put it on a cooling rack. So all the oil will drip. Like so. So now I'm going to add my remaining festival. Guys, I'm telling you, I cannot wait for you all to try this recipe. It is super, super delicious. It is so crispy on the outside, but soft on the inside. I'm just plating it up. And I'm just loving the color. Nice and golden. A whole heap of them I make a whole heap.
so guys it is all plated up and i'm telling you it came out perfect it is super super delicious i'm just gonna break into one of them for you guys just look at that it is so soft on the inside oh my goodness this recipe right here is a must try i serve it with some spice sprat some fish you can serve it with whatever you prefer i hope you all do enjoy this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up please share this video to your families to your friends and everyone on your social media i will really really appreciate it i thank you all so much for watching until next time bye guys love you all thank you all so much for all your love and your support Straight from the kitchen. Subscribe for more of these delicious recipes. Hit the thumbs up and share across all your social media platforms for more of these amazing delicious recipes from Jody.